Hello guys, uh, welcome back to another uh, tutorial. Uh, first off, before um, I get into the tutorial, I want to thank you everybody that subscribed to my channel. Um, that helped me uh, reach the 1000 subscriber. Thank you guys, uh, I really appreciate it. And for those who haven't been subscribed yet, uh, please, if you um, like um, all the video that um, I post this on my channel please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and once again thank you for all the support uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started so in uh, today's video I will show you how to um, create uh, gels and uh, install flex media servers on uh, free NAS I forgot what version is this is um, 11.42 u7 Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and go to uh, jails and we're gonna ask uh, new jails. Uh, jail name you can name it whatever you want, but make sure you remember the names because we're gonna need it to um, log in uh, via the secure shell later or edit edge. I'm gonna name it Flex Media uh, Server and release, of course, gonna be 11.2 and next. I'm gonna use a DXCP uh, auto uh, config to make it easy. Uh, I'm not gonna be using uh, IPv6 for these configurations. And uh, just a quick note um, if you have uh, connection is issues, uh, most likely you, uh, some for some like home router uh, or mod router, you have to uh, do like uh, try to get the remote connection. You're gonna need a port, for port for forwarding uh, enable. Um, or uh, some of the issue I see, I actually uh, mess up myself fast finger when I do uh, um, my uh, IP address range, and I actually uh, fast finger it. It actually become a public IP address uh, that I assign to my routers. Uh, it's still routable within uh, your home network, but however, you're not gonna able to get a uh, connection outside because uh, public IP address. So make sure that you're using a private IP address like one nine a um, one nine two four one six a or ten, poly something, you know. Uh, and uh, another uh, thing that I come across is uh, I'm using ESXi. There's some uh, security setting on the virtual switch on the ESXi that you need to enable or disable. I forgot uh, to actually get the connection through. If you have issue with it, leave it in the comment below, and uh, I'll be sure to make a video explain uh, other can. Uh, um, flex connection issue that I come across. All right, go ahead and get started. Everything good to go. Submit. All right. Uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and start a jail. And we're gonna go ahead and open the command prompt, prompt or CMD. Alright, mm. and then we're gonna establish a um, edit edge or secu a secure shell connection. Mm -mm. Alright, uh, so by default, I normally leave. Um, the port 22 or uh, edit edge disable just um, good uh, security practice I'm gonna go to uh, services and uh, enable um, edit edge just a quick note for those that try to log in with the root users make sure that uh, you check the login at root with passwords I have a video go over uh, how to uh, establish um, edit edge sections um, Locking with root password is not real. Uh, I did courage. Uh, there's a better way to do it. Um, you can follow my video. However, it's, the option is yours. If you want to lock in with the uh, root password, make sure you uh, enable. Uh, uh, make sure you check on this box. Otherwise, you're gonna get the um, permission denied when you try to lock in with the root users. All right. I go ahead and enable the edit edge. All right, we should be able to um, get a connection now. There we go, perfect. 
and I'm gonna need the root access for this one so when you are uh, SU to uh, escalate the privilege the root privilege and in the root use the root password here we go we are root users and we're gonna lock in in the uh, IOK console or jail and whatever that you name is uh, earlier and then reflect media server Alright, we're gonna do the uh, we're gonna update and upgrade the package. gonna have some mid match because um, there is actually a new uh, version of free PSD out there and I haven't updated my free NAS yet and that is okay it should be working just fine if you're on the latest uh, free NAS you shouldn't be um, you shouldn't be having this issues so after upgrade and update we're gonna review the index using a uh, port snap check all right all right so now we have a new index file um we're gonna go ahead and in install flex media servers you have two options so flex media servers and flex media server flex pass so if you pay for the flex pass uh, i paid for it a long time ago i don't remember what the difference i believe is um the flex pass is the one that let you have a remote connection basically you can watch the movie stream the movie outside of your home that's only the different i think uh, i'm gonna install the flex media server flex, flex pass the second options all right all right, so we're gonna do a package install. Flex media server dash flex pass, and there we go. Okay, why for yes? So this gonna install um, the latest version for uh, the quarter, the quarterly uh, versions. Not gonna be the latest uh, flex versions. So what I mean by that is if you look at the um, version right here, it's say one four eighteen point seven. After you install the flex, it's not gonna be one four eighteen point seven. If you click on the flex media server flex pass, here we go. We're gonna show you this is the version. This is this is the current version of the um, the uh, fresh port right now. So uh, fresh port, uh, it have uh, two uh, URL by default. Uh, you're gonna go with the the system. I'm gonna go with the quarterly revisions. Uh, if you want the latest one, you have to change this to the latest. Uh, so quarterly uh, quarterly re revisions. What does it mean? Is that they only push update uh, out quarterly. So the next update, even though the the last update is on the 13th of February, but um, they're not gonna push the revision until. Um, be, uh, beginning of April or any time within the uh, second quarters. All right, it should be done by already. We're gonna go back to uh, the command prompt. All right, so now we have uh, flex intels. Uh, next step is uh, we're gonna ask the we're gonna enable the flex at boot time. So it's gonna be echo flex media server. Flex pass enable go yes we're gonna write to the configuration file All right now we're gonna start a uh, flex media server Service flex 
media server flex pass star all right so starting i'm gonna go back to free nest and i'm gonna go back to jails and the default URM for this is going to be uh, 104134 I'm going to go ahead and copy that one and I'm going to paste this so if you're going to using the default uh, flex port going to be a 32400 if you're just going to put in that 32400 it's, uh, you're going to have this error right here uh, you're supposed to have a splash web also and there it is All right, I'm gonna go ahead and then uh, sign in. Yeah, with the new flex, you have to sign in in order to um, authenticate the uh, servers, the new server. All right, let's see my server, flex media server. Perfect. Because I didn't give it uh, any patch to. Um, any uh, file directory, so I'm not gonna have anything in the media library. All right, done. All right, now we're gonna go back to um, uh, free NAS, and I'm gonna go ahead and stop the um, Flex Media server. And we're gonna add the mount points. Add the mount point. All right, flex. And uh, detonations. I'm gonna mail it to um, the uh, media. All right, now that we have um, mount point, uh, we should be able to see um, the um, content within it. Make sure that you give appropriate uh, permission uh, to the folder on the on your uh, uh, free NAS, uh, uh, on the port also, make sure that you give appropriate uh, permission for the folder. Let me see what permission I have in here right now. Yep. So you can assign the uh, permission to um, the user WWs. That way, that um, Flex able to um, see the file within that um, directory or uh, within that folder. And uh, we're gonna go back to the jail, and we're gonna start uh, Flex again. started I'm gonna go ahead and go back to flex media server I'm gonna go ahead and add the library the movie and then we're just gonna give it the um, it's gonna go to media and here we go let's go to movie we'll go to kit movie I'm gonna go ahead and add to the library. And there you go, you should have movie in the library. And that's how you install uh, Flex on uh, FreeNAS. One more thing, uh, in order to update uh, Flex Media Server, what you're gonna do is um, you're gonna go to um, command uh, prompt, go back to the terminal. Hmm. I stop it so it's probably uh, 
close out the uh, SSN connections. When I go ahead and re it, re it, re it, re it the connections. We do um, we log uh, back into uh, free name. to lock in the flag media server jails and in order to update um, your flex media servers first you need to stop the service so we're gonna do a service mm, flex media server underscore flex pass stop all right so we're gonna stop the service and then next you're gonna run the package update and package upgrade multimedia flex media server and enter as you see right here is uh, there nothing up uh, mm, to update because this is already the latest versions and but in future if you do that it's gonna automatically update the uh, flex to the latest versions uh, and uh, after you start the uh, um, finish with the update you're gonna restart the um, flex service so just service flex media server flex bad uh, underscore flex pass and uh, start and and uh, that conclude my uh, today tutorial thank you for watching guys and uh, once again if you uh, think that you video is uh, helpful uh, don't forget to subscribe on like and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial video thank you